like, if I don't want to step on the scale at the doctor's, I say, oh, I don't want to be weighed today. If I don't want to talk about my fatness at the doctor, I say, oh, I'm not here to talk about my weight. I'm here to talk about fill in the blank, whatever the issue actually is. Well, what if your actual problem is being fat? In this video, I'm going to show you some of the greatest double standards. Please enjoy. Yes. If they refuse to test me for certain things because of my fatness, I say, I would like it noted in my chart that you are refusing to test me for X, Y, and Z. So I'm very sorry to say this, and I do wish you the best, but if you're going to be blaming everybody around you except yourself, you are going to die at a young age. You're calling everybody around you fat phobic while well, you're literally the only one that's afraid of their fat. I actually saw a study that says that in 2019, diabetes was the direct cause of 1.5 million deaths. Who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman? The woman. woman. If men typically have to have looks, money, and status in order to attract lots of beautiful women, how is the man not considered the prize? But that does not mean that feminism is a, is a female supremacy movement. I think it is. Do you boys believe that feminism is a supremacy movement? I want to see what y'all think, so let me know in the comments down below. Feminism, what's the definition? What definition do you give it? The def definition. Well, they, they talk about equality, but they don't mean it. So they you don't mean it because your own definition and define it for the rest of women everywhere. When there's women out there that are being abused, when there's women out there that have a higher chance of domestic violence. How do some women have a higher chance of domestic violence than others? Maybe we should start with the why. And you're gonna stand you the majority in, in, in less the square where there's women passing by that are probably in domestic probably in have probably even have you think the violence major by men. Okay, cut me off. Cut me off. Because I'm making a good point. Cut me off. I hope you guys really... I will keep going because I'm making a good point. That's why you don't want to interrupt me, yeah? Congratulations. You made one good point in your life, which, to be honest, isn't really good. I hope you guys honestly feel like you guys are spreading a good message because all the women out here aren't feeling that you are. Okay. I honestly really feel like... You guys are spreading a terrible message. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm so sorry that you feel this way because feminism is not a supremacy movement. There are too many men on this earth for me to sit around and deal with one mother that don't want to act right. I have told men too many times in my life what I want to make me happy. I literally told them a million times before I left them. She belongs to the streets. And somehow, they all manage to f it up still. All I'm saying is I'm too pretty, I'm too good of a person, and my personality is too f***ing unmatched to beg a mother f to open the door for me and buy me flowers. I love how it became sort of a trend to hate men. How about you don't depend your happiness on other people? She's saying she's perfect and she has unmatched personality. Do you agree? Or does she belong to the street? I can tell you right now your personality is sh There's a reason why you've picked too many motherfuckers that don't respect you, don't care about you, don't do any of that shit for you because they never looked at you that way. You've presented yourself as probably the fun girl. The men that you put around you is just evidence for your degeneracy. If you had to beg for men to give you flowers or even open doors for you, then you're obviously not that girl and you're setting way higher expectations for the men you chose. Therefore, you've been still put in a not so intelligent position. I hope you realize that you are not the main value in your future relationships, but it's the sum of both of you that builds it and creates its unity which we call love.